What's up Deckers, welcome to another video. So some of you guys might be just getting your Steam Deck for the first time. In today's video, we'll be giving you guys five tips to help you just get familiarized with your Steam Deck. So if that's something you guys were interested, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So the first tip that I want to start with is to change your VRAM from 2 gig to 4 gig, and this should help with gameplay performance. This is pretty easy to do. So to get started, you just power your device up, hold the volume up button and the power button in the beginning and release and you should see this part so next you just want to go here and you want to go to vram like you see right here and again i believe the standard come with 201 but just change that to four and again you will notice that this should help with some games performing better on your steam deck so just thought i'll showcase that one out for you guys the next tip that i want to showcase here is to download proton qt and in order to do this you just have to go to desktop mode you have to go to the discover store here and you have to search for it you can just search qt here and proton up qt should come up like you see right here so just download this one and install it the reason to do this is because SteamOS has compatibility layers and proton is what helps games run on SteamOS, which is the steam deck as you guys know so if a game might be struggling to do so just try proton qt which should turn out as Proton GE with the compatibility layer and this might actually help a game that might not run on your Steam Deck or it's not supported run so again take a look at this let us know in the comments below if you guys found this one helpful the next tip is to add nested desktop to the game mode it's pretty simple just go to the start icon here and search for it you should see a pop-up nested desktop here so you just want to open it up in desktop mode and then also you just want to add it to steam so once you add it to steam you get to go if you just go to game mode you should be able to access your desktop now without having to go to power and switch into to desktop mode so so this saves you a lot of steps as you can see here in gaming mode you can now easily access your desktop again this is pretty cool let us know if you guys found this feature helpful the next tip is to download Decky Loader plugin and this should be easy to do again desktop mode you just want to open up a browser like Firefox like you see right here and then you want to search for Decky Loader and then just hit download so once you've done downloading it you should see it in your dolphin folder like you see right here so again go to downloads here and you should be able to see it here so just hit execute and you're good to go it's going to run a script and then again you should be all done with it so next if you just go back to gaming mode you should be able to see it all the way at the bottom here and the cool thing about this is that it gives you a lot of plugins to customize your steam deck you can get plugins like frame generation or cs loader to bring some themes to your steam deck so again this just gives you so much more utilities on your steam deck and just makes your steam deck even more awesome again cs loader here if you want themes and and again with lossless scaling which we've done a lot of video on lately to where you can bring frame generation to some games so would highly recommend you guys check out decky loader there's a lot going on for this app on your steam deck the last tip is to download aperture dex job and the cool thing about this game is free and it's made by valve why this game is so cool is because it helps you learn your steam deck better this will help you better understand the touchpad and so much more so would highly recommend it and again it doesn't hurt to try because this one's free all right fellas that's all the tip that we have for you guys welcome to the steam deck gang definitely check out our guide section if you guys want to get familiarized with your steam deck better appreciate you guys we'll catch you guys in the next one until next time peace out